At a time in 2014, Oblock was in a full-blown war with STL slash EBT. It's the most documented and most famous beef in Chicago. This beef led to an unforgettable incident that ended T-Roy's life in 2017 at East 71st Street in Chicago's South Shore neighborhood. T-Roy, a high-ranked Oblock member, was fatally attacked by two unidentified rivals. Despite unclear CCTV footage, T-Roy managed to share crucial information about the events leading to his tragic end before passing away. Chicago became a hub for gang wars between 2014 and fast forward to 2017 when T-Roy was eventually shot. Between these dates, some other things have been heating up between Oblock and STL EBT that no one knew about. Before that, let's start with how T-Roy found himself entangled in this battle. Back in the day and among his homies, T-Roy was known by several names, including Baby Boy, Savage, and Lil Boss T. But beneath those aliases, he was a member of the Black Disciples, calling Oblock his home. Now, Oblock might not be on any official map. It's a name reserved for those who dwell in the heart of gang territory. This name was etched in blood after a tragic event in 2011 when a young man named Modi Perry lost his life on a summer night. A memory that only gang members carry. Born as James Johnson, T-Roy lived in Oblock alongside his older brother, HK, and his younger sibling, Slutty. They all shared a life in this Chicago neighborhood where the rules of the streets often took precedence. It was here that he crossed paths with King Vaughn and their friendship ignited. Through Vaughn, T-Roy found himself rubbing shoulders with heavyweights like Chief Keefe and Lil Durk. The streets grew darker as T-Roy's reputation grew. More incidents followed, and this time, he was suspected in the murder of Zakaya, another member of STL EBT, and Lil Mark from 051 Young Money. Meanwhile, his close companion, King Vaughn, found himself in legal trouble again. What started as a gun case on his prom night quickly spiraled into a murder case. Vaughn was accused of taking the life of Malcolm Stuckey from Willieville on May 29, 2014. Between July 2014 and February 13, 2017, T-Roy found himself tangled in a web of robberies, all for one purpose, to secure the release of his close friend, Vaughn, from behind bars. Loyalty ran deep in the streets, and T-Roy was willing to do whatever it took. Then came that fateful day, February 14, 2017, Valentine's Day. T-Roy walked into a store in Pakistan, and afterward, he met his end in what looked like a well-planned rival clash. Though the camera at the store couldn't give a clear picture of all that happened, luckily, there was an eyewitness who saw everything. According to eyewitnesses, T-Roy was just shopping for his groceries at the store, like other days. He was peacefully moving from shelf to shelf, picking out things he needed. But then, out of nowhere, two unknown men approached him and opened fire. It was a terrifying moment, and everyone in the store froze in fear. T-Roy was hit by the bullets and started bleeding. Nearby residents screamed and ran for cover, as poor T-Roy, wounded and scared, had to crawl his way to a nearby cashier spot to hide himself. It was like something out of a movie, but sadly, it was very real. As T-Roy hid there, scared and in pain, he was patiently waiting for help to arrive. The Chicago Police Department soon arrived at the scene, sirens blurring and lights flashing. They rushed in to catch those dangerous men who had caused all this chaos, but they were long gone. All that was left was security footage, which served as backup to what the witnesses said. The store turned into a crime scene with yellow tape everywhere and officers talking to witnesses like the brave soul who saw it all happen. With the atmosphere filled with fear, T-Roy was rushed to Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Sadly, the odds were against him and he couldn't survive the devastating hit. In the tight-knit world of Oblock, T-Roy's sudden death sent shockwaves through the gang's ranks. You see, T-Roy held a prominent position and his loss was deeply felt. Oblock wasn't any typical neighborhood. It was a place where the gang openly claimed responsibility for violent acts in Chicago. They weren't shy about it. This notorious gang was no stranger to violence. They had a reputation for making headlines with their actions. Tragically, on August 4th, 2020, they allegedly claimed another life, that of FBG Duck, a Chicago rapper. The streets of Chicago had become a battleground, and Oblock was at the center of it all. But let's step back for a moment. In the days leading up to T-Roy's tragic passing, the internet buzzed with some videos that had everyone talking. These clips, which resurfaced from the depths of the web, revealed a side of T-Roy that was both bold and controversial. One video, shot by one of his close friends, showed T-Roy confidently declaring that he wasn't scared of any gang. In this clip, he sang a daring tune, proclaiming that he couldn't be stunned by anyone because he always had his trusty gun by his side. It was a provocative statement, one that could easily ruffle the feathers of rival gangs and stir up trouble. But that wasn't the only video causing a stir online. T-Roy, in his last Instagram Live video, posted footage that left many in shock. 
The caption read, you run up on me, I shoot you no problem. In the video, he captured himself speaking boldly, telling some unidentified people to leave him alone because he always rode with his neighborhood crew. And he wasn't scared of anyone because his gun was always with him. As these videos circulated on social media, they ignited a heated debate. Some saw T-Roy's words as mere bravado, while others believed he was genuinely fearless. After the days of T-Roy's death, a web of speculation swirled among T-Roy's fans in his closed circles. They couldn't help but connect the dots between T-Roy's demise and the shadowy figure of Boss Trail, also known as BT. T-Roy and BT had a feud that seemed to stretch back in time, like a feud from the pages of a history book. It was so old that nobody could pinpoint when or why it began. But one thing was for sure, the rivalry was etched deep in the streets. BT was known as a respected shooter for the STL gang, and he had a mysterious link to a shooting that sent shockwaves through the old block neighborhood. On February 16, 2012, Sheroy Liggins, a member of the old block, was walking out a store across the street from old block when Boss Trail, along with two members of the STL EBT, shot him across the street with a red beam. Sheroy died four days later on the 20th as a result of a gunshot wound to the neck. But what made this tale even more chilling was the public acknowledgement of the killer. It wasn't kept in the shadows, nah. It was out in the open for the world to see. Boss Trail, also known as BT, was credited with the murder of Sheroy, and he didn't shy away from the attention. He took to Twitter, of all places. He even went as far as revealing the type of gun he had used to end Sheroy's life. A few months later, BT's tweets took an unexpected turn. He posted about leaving Chicago behind and heading to Idaho, northwestern U.S. to start anew. It seemed like a drastic change of direction, a chance to escape the darkness that had enveloped him. But fate had other plans. In the dimly lit alley where BT waited for one of his friends, someone appeared from the shadows. It was Lil Mark, also known as Quiet Money. And without warning, he sprinted up behind BT and unleashed a barrage of gunfire. After Lil Mark, also known as Quiet Money, fired those faithful shots, Boss Trail, or BT, fell to the ground, his back riddled with bullets. It was a grim and violent end to a story that had already seen too much bloodshed. After BT's death, his rivals couldn't resist the urge to mock him. Old Block gangs, especially guys like King Von, T-Roy, Jay Money, and Rondo No. 9, took jabs at BT. They revealed his downfall, and their taunts echoed through the streets. In retaliation, STL, BT's crew, sought vengeance. They set their sights on Lil B and J Money, turning this feud into a never-ending cycle of violence and revenge. The streets were a cauldron of simmering tensions, where each act of violence seemed to spark another. Fast forward to 2017, and the streets witnessed another tragedy. T-Roy, who had been part of this intricate web of feuds and vendettas, met his violent end. It was a brutal murder that the past has a way of catching up with those who live in the shadows. As the streets of Chicago continued to echo with violence, the aftermath of T-Roy's death sparked a relentless desire for revenge from Oblock. Some determined individuals, including Lamron 300, THF 46, and Front Street, came together to form a gang called Get Back Gang. The name itself held a clear purpose, to get back at those they believed were responsible for T-Roy's demise. With a singular goal in mind, the Get Back Gang set out a set of scores. Their list of targets was long and included individuals like Lil Ho, Poppy, known as Taekwon World, Jamo or Jamo, FBG Duck, and many others. It was a dangerous game of tit for tat where the cycle of violence showed no signs of breaking. But then, in August 2022, a surprising twist emerged. The Chicago Police Department made a startling announcement, one that left the community in shock. They claimed that T-Roy, along with King Von, were both involved in the shooting of Modell and Miles. This revelation shook the very foundation of the ongoing feuds and vendettas that had plagued the streets for so long. It was a stark reminder that the truth in these situations could be as elusive as a shadow in the night. The story of Get Back Gang, born out of a thirst for vengeance, serves as a grim illustration for the relentless cycle of violence that can grip these neighborhoods. It's a tale of how revenge can become an all-consuming force, blinding individuals to the consequences of their actions. Although T-Roy's life was short-lived, he remained one of the most respected members of his hood. But we can't ignore the fact that gang brawls, especially in the hip-hop world, have claimed many lives, including those of young talents, that if we were to start mentioning their names, we would run out of words. Thanks for watching, and while you're at it, click the video on your screen to watch more amazing content.